In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate the follow-up process for your Facebook lead ad so you can have a system in place that can respond to these leads instantly and can respond to them 24 hours a day, 7 days a week so you can close more of these leads into paying customers. It's an updated process from the previous process that I had which involves a lot more automations and this is something that we started using mid-2024 going into 2025. And I use this exact same process for every single one of my clients whether it's lead formats, messenger ads landing page ads and I also use it inside my own agency for my own lead generation what you're looking at here is uh, a couple of campaigns that we're running right now for a client and as you can see both of these campaigns are generating leads one is a lead format and the other one is a messenger ad the issue typically is with uh, lead ads is that you cannot directly respond to these leads right away so if you want to retrieve leads from lead ads you oftentimes have to go to the page that's running the lead and on the left hand se se section here go to lead center this is sort of facebook's you know lead hub crm kind of you know place if you will and you are going to see all the leads that are being generated from those lead forms inside of this area here the issue with this is that um these are not instant so if a lead comes in right now you may or may not get notification from facebook this isn't accessible um, on a, a mobile device and by the time you log into this system and you go here and look at leads it could be 10 15 30 minutes an hour uh, and you've already lost the lead so in today's world what we're seeing is a minimum touch point of 10 to 15 times in order for a lead to be able to close and so if you don't have that instant respond and a way to manage these leads instantly um, you're gonna just be losing money on these lead ads now in order to solve this problem we are using a tool called high level and there's going to be links to all the resources that I mentioned uh, in the description of this video but high level really allows us to create a bunch of automations and a bunch of alerts to not only respond to these leads instantly but to continue the nurturing process so uh, I'm gonna walk you through how this works so if you're looking at the screen here this is the high level dashboard the very first thing that we do is click on settings and they go down to integrations under integrations we are wanting to connect the facebook ad account and the facebook page that you're running ads from so how that works is that you find this section here that's got the facebook icons and instagram icons and you click connect when you click connect it is going to allow you to select a page that you want to connect and it's going to allow you to select the ad account that you're running ads from okay once this is connected uh, and your lead ads are running and they're active what you want to do is go to the very top here where it says Facebook form lead fields um, and you're going to see the forms that you've built for your Facebook ads now anything that's got this little blue check mark means that it's properly connected and it's been integrated into your business page as you can see here I've got one that says junk one this form is present in a lead ad and it's present in the system but it's not connected to high level so in order to connect it we have to essentially map some fields and a way to do that is by clicking map fields and then picking the uh, fields that correspond to the name so first name will be full name a full name will be full name email will be email phone will be phone zip will be zip and then these are just custom questions that I'll have to choose from the drop down field uh, in here once I have this map I'm gonna see this little check mark and my form is ready to go the next thing that we have to do is actually set up our automation so that it can handle those leads uh, using the AI that uh, is built into high level. So the very first thing that I do is from the left hand pane here, I'm going to click on automations and this is going to bring me to a list of all my workflows. Now I already have um, an automation that's built out for this uh, example, but I'm going to walk you through recreating this here. So in the previous versions of this, we would set up um, automatic replies and then those would be conditioned based on what people will respond and then you could or could not change those things out what we've updated since then is having the AI actually have dynamic conversations with people and all the way through booking them to an appointment um, on our calendar so that we can have a conversation with them uh, in addition to calling them in addition to sending the initial text the emails and all that um, we nurture this conversation via text so the first thing that I want to do is click on create new workflow and then I'm going to choose start from scratch. I'm obviously going to give this uh, workflow a name that makes sense, uh, whatever you want that to be. 
the first initial trigger that we have in here is going to be uh, a Facebook lead form. So if a Facebook form comes in uh, from a selected page, we want to then add the actual form that we want to trigger this automation, right? So, you know, it would be whichever one we want here. The next thing that we want to do is as soon as the Facebook lead comes in, as soon as somebody sees the ad, they become a lead, they enter into this system, we want to automatically uh, send them a message. We want to send them a message, um, SMS, to send send those people a message instantly and we want to say you know hey this is you know mike with you know abc company um thanks for asking about our service um you know are you still interested in this okay we want to send them a message and we want to save that message right there next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that these leads are organized inside of high level so we can easily track and see what's come in and what what converts and what doesn't convert in order to do that we're going to create an opportunity we're going to create an opportunity and we're going to tell the system hey i want you to drop them into you know a stage in my pipeline with the opportunity name uh, we can add lead value all this other stuff etc now once we've done this um, we can essentially add what's called an appointment booking bot so i use this this one here called appointment booking bot conversational ai and basically this is a high level ai that allows you to nurture the conversations that are happening with the leads so in this section here we're going to pick a calendar that's in the system that we want you know the leads to kind of book a time slot on or we want the bot to go and check to see if there's an open time slot that somebody can can book a time with right uh on the personality we want to give it a few instruction set uh you know text here maybe tell it who they are they are a an AI assistant that's working with ABC company and their role is to be able to guide people through uh, an estimate or an appointment booking you know conversation the next thing is additional set of instructions we want things in here that are going to uh, help guide the conversation to appear a little bit more natural maybe something like hey you know your, your role is to ask these four different questions because they're pre-qualifying questions if one of these questions is answered as no then let let the customer know or the prospect know that they're not going to be a good fit and then you know direct them to our website or if they answer yes to the qualifying questions now ask if they would be open to having an appointment scheduled or to pick a time on a calendar that the service can be completed or have them speak to our estimator etc once we have all this um, we can choose where we want this to happen so we can set these kind of automated you know follow-up systems whether we're running text messaging campaigns whether we're running lead ads whether we're running Facebook messenger ads or we're, or we're running Instagram DMs in my case it's gonna be an SMS and I'm just gonna click Save Action and this right here is pretty much about what it takes in order to have a complete nurturing you know conversation going on with clients now obviously there's a few other things in here that we add so for example if uh, the appointment was not booked or if this times out then we loop it back around here and the bot continues to follow up uh, 24 hours a day you know every single day until they either book or they say no and they leave off of this workflow now I'm gonna show you a demonstration of how this works so you guys can see it. Um, on this side, what I have is really my Facebook page with a form. This is the same type of lead form that will run on ads. Uh, this is just Facebook's developer tool to allow us to test the automation and integrations between uh, the Facebook uh, tool and high level. So this is this will be the form that the user sees when they click on the ad. In this case, it's for a junk removal company. So I'm just going to say, you know, do you provide junk removal? Do you need a junk removal quote? I'm going to answer this as the user. I'm going to say I need this ASAP. And I'm going to say, you know, I have a couch and um, some items I need removed, right? I'm going to put my first name, my email, uh, my address. All the standard fields are in the form. And when I submit that form, I'm going to get a little thank you message that says, hey, we're going to go ahead and text you. Um, expect something from us, right? Now I want to show you what's going to happen here on high level, on the high level, and that lead will be imported into the system. 
and because that form is integrated with the system, the bot is going to go ahead and handle that and send a text message uh, out to the user, um, which we can then have conversation. So you can see on the left hand side in real time, um, it's calling my name right there and the system has already responded automatically. Hey Armando, it's Jane, Lee Concierge with Junk Removal. Uh, I've been assigned to schedule you for a quick call. Uh, you know, can I get you a call for a junk removal or you're still interested? As a user, as a lead, I can go ahead and um, respond back to this immediately, right? I can say, uh, yes, uh, do you take, you know, couches or something like that, right? There it is right there. I just responded from my cell phone and I said, I asked it if it takes furniture. Um, the bot should respond based on its programming. Yes, we take furniture. When are you looking to get this done? I uh, could you send a couple of pictures of the items so we can provide a rough estimate, right? At this point I can say, um, great. How much does it cost? Right? How much does it cost? This is a common question that people ask and it's very hard for you to give an answer to this without having a conversation with somebody or without seeing the items or whatever the case is in your business, right? And this is something that we use for painting companies. It's something that we use for flooring installation guys, for garage, for epoxy. Across every industry that we're running this, uh, we can see that, right? So I asked for a price and the bot's designed to bring you back into just scheduling a call with somebody or having a deeper conversation. So you can see our pricing is based on the space your items take on our trailer. If you'd like to send a couple pictures of the furniture, we gladly give you a more um, accurate estimate. Okay. And this conversation can continue. I can say, you know, can I just speak to somebody? Uh, can I speak to someone? Right. Um, and it's going to check that calendar and find an open slot let the business owner know that there is somebody in the system that is already going through the process that they probably need human interaction in there um, and it's going to go ahead and book that slot on the calendar and let you know in addition to this one of the things that we do automatically is that as soon as a lead comes in um, we sent a voicemail drop to the customer so it's a ringless voicemail so that they know that uh, we try to reach them we send that initial text we follow up with an email and then the bot continues to do its thing in addition to you having your team calling them uh and following up with them uh, all these things are happening 24 hours a day seven days a week so it doesn't matter when the lead comes in they can come in at midnight they can come in at one in the morning um and as you can see i've asked to speak to somebody but i actually misspelled that right so could you please clarify would you like to speak with if you're looking to discuss the quote i can help you schedule a call uh and i can say yes please right or whatever i want to respond to this uh and it's going to give me some availability so that i can again book a call and get a quote so this kind of system and this process uh really allows you to run your ads and allows the leads to be handled and communicated with 24 hours a day seven days a week instantly they're going to get a voicemail drop they're going to get email you know follow-ups they're going to get automated follow-ups like this and in the event that the person doesn't respond or it goes cold the very next day it should fire up an alert or you can set it to be random you can say i want you to follow up within three days or within four days or whatever and it's going to try to loop them back again into the sales process and this is what we're using now for pretty much all of our accounts whether it's messenger ads whether it is lead ads um, whether it is landing page sales ads conversion ads those kind of thing we're even using this type of system for organic leads that come in through your website that come in through uh, a form fill on your site uh, etc so if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the, in the comment section of this video. There are going to be links in the description that take you to high level, give you a 15 day free trial. There's also a link to my mini workshop that shows you how to set up lead ads properly so that you can generate leads for your business this week. Um, and if this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.